Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Today, we are shirt on, dressed to the nines, which can mean only one thing. We have some skincare awards to distribute. Today's the turn of the best moisturizers of 2021. Now, if I look back to like two years ago, I think most brands just, you know, formulated a moisturizer that was a means to an end to finish your routine. You might've got a little bit of an additional hydration from it, but I don't think any of the moisturizers on the market were actually that beneficial in terms of our overall skincare journey. However, all that's changed in the last sort of 18 to 24 months with brands really focusing in on their formulations and adding some fantastic ingredients that give additional benefit beyond what you'll get from the rest of your routine. It's these moisturizers that I want to celebrate in today's video. I'm going to break it down by skin type and price point. This truly is something for everyone today. So sit back, relax, and let's celebrate the best moisturizers of 2021. Now, before we get into this, I'd like to issue one big caveat to say when it comes to choosing the moisturizer that's right for your own skincare routine, it's super, super important that you match it to your skin type. Different ingredients, formulations, and textures will work differently on different skin types, and you always need to bear that in mind. It can be a little bit of a minefield navigating through this, and brands certainly don't make it easy for us, the consumer, because they often advertise their products as applicable for all skin types, when in truth, that's rarely the case. Fortunately, I've got you covered, and I've left timestamps in the description box below, pinpointing each section of this video by skin type. So if you know your own skin type, and you want to just cut to that section, be my guest, the timestamps are linked below. I love timestamps in videos. You know, I'm a content creator as well as a consumer here on YouTube. And whenever I reach for a video, I like to check the timestamps to see which is the most applicable section of the video for me. Unfortunately, very few content creators actually do this, but I always try to in every one of my videos. And all I ask for in return is a quick thumbs up and a like. Honestly, that supports me and the channel so, so much. And it also encourages YouTube to push out the content to a wider audience, which allow even more people to discover our fantastic Mad About Skin family. So for everyone that ever comments, comments or likes the video. Thank you from the bottom of my heart because honestly, it supports me so, so much. Now, without further ado, should we just cut the waffle and get awarding some of these categories? First and foremost, I want to celebrate the best drugstore moisturizer of 2021. I want to start here because honestly, I think the drugstore is where it's at when it comes to moisturizers. If you look back to like five years ago, it was all about that high bougie and luxury price point. People genuinely believe the more you paid for a moisturizer, the more you get. In truth, that was never the case. Today, though, there are so many amazing options available at the drugstore, so you don't need to break the bank to get that additional hydration. Hands down, my favorite drugstore moisturizer is this. This is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. Now, there's nothing exciting about this. I get it. You know, when you look at this product, it doesn't jump out and make you want to buy it. But it's super flexible. It is genuinely applicable, I'd say, for just about all skin types. It doesn't break you out if you're super oily and acne prone like me. But it gives a meaningful level of hydration if you have a drier skin type. And it's available for literally five pounds. It's that gorgeous drugstore price point that attracted me to this product. I do find myself reaching for it time and time again. There's lots of other amazing drugstore moisturizers. So let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do like a separate video celebrating some of my favorites. But hands down, the winner of this category goes to the ordinary. And this is one of my ride or die favorites. Now, I was saying earlier that a lot of luxury, bougie, and expensive moisturizers didn't add a whole lot of additional benefit and worth worth the money. However, some of them are, and I now want to award the category for the best luxury moisturizer. Now, before you all scream and think, oh, he's going to go La Mer, of course I'm not. I mean, nothing is worth that price point. I actually want to celebrate this brand, which is the beauty of Joseon Dynasty cream. This isn't even that expensive, but honestly, it feels so luxurious. It feels bougie. I mean, you've got that on your vanity. It just looks super elegant, expensive. And actually, in here in the UK, this is around a 12 or 13 pounds price point. Super affordable, but you get a really nice, meaningful level of hydration. It feels silky on the skin. You honestly are excited to use this every single day, or at least I am. And I think it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I want to prove on this channel that luxury doesn't always have have to cost the earth. You know, you can get a luxurious product that feels like an at-home spa experience for a really affordable price point. And honestly, if you haven't tried this one yet, this is one of my favorites of 2021 and definitely, definitely worth the hype it's getting. Now, before we move on to the individual categories for each skin type that I know you're waiting for, I do want to give out one further award, and that's the best moisturizer hack of 2021. This didn't come from TikTok, no, no. It didn't come from Instagram or Reddit. This actually came from a fantastic friend and subscriber here on Mad About Skin. 
Patty actually told me, I think it was very early on this year, that one of her favorite moisturizer hacks was to drop a few drops of facial oil into a standard moisturizer to elevate it. You know, increase the hydration, the moisture, and just take it from being an ordinary moisture into like a game-changing next level one. I started doing this and honestly, I was hooked. Not only does this hack help you transform a very standard moisturizer, but if you're like me and have super oily, acne-prone skin, it helps those facial oils to absorb better into the skin. So if you want to use an oil, but you don't like the texture that it brings, add a few drops into your moisturizer, game-changing. I started by using this combination, which was the ordinary natural moisturizing factors that I just referenced, and a few drops of the Stratia facial oil. This combination was game-changingly good for me, and honestly, on those dry skin days, it just saved me. This year, I actually formulated my own moisturizer, which was this, the Mad About Skin Maximum Impact Moisturizer. I'm not gonna be awarding, you know, this as a favorite in any category, because that would be so conceited, and I'm not that type of person. But when I formulated this, I actually did so with this hack in mind. I wanted to combine beautiful moisturizing ingredients with that element of facial oil, which you get in here with three different oils to boost the natural moisturizing power of the formulation as it was. Honestly, a lot of people don't want to mix oils and moisturizers together. It's a little bit faffy. And now what it's great to see so many brands actually offering that in combination in their moisturizing products. And I'm sure that so, so many more will be launched in the next year. Now, shall we move on to the individual skin type categories? I want a big drum roll because this is my skin type coming up, the oily and the acne prone. Now, I filmed in a recent video in five skincare products you probably don't need. I said, if like me, you're super, super oily, you might not actually need a moisturizer at all. I'm gonna leave a link to that video up there. Definitely worth checking out. I stand by that. You know what? If you have super oily skin, a moisturizer might not be essential. However, even us oily folk get dry from time to time. And here in the UK, Okay, we're in the cooler winter months and I definitely notice my skin needs that little extra touch of hydration, which is when I start to reach for a moisturizer. When it comes to the best moisturizer for oily skin, there are two products that I recommend time and time again, and it's these two. First up, we have the Face Theory Super Gel Moisturizer. Then we have the V Green Daily Moisture Cream. Both of these are stunning if you have oily skin because they disappear without a trace. They do, however, leave behind a meaningful level of hydration. How many times have you reached for a gel-based moisturizer to put it on the skin and think, oh yeah, this feels really good. Then just notice zero trace of hydration or moisture left behind. It's really frustrating and honestly a waste of money. Neither of these leave you feeling like you're wearing a film or a mask on the skin, which honestly, us oily folk, if you're if you're super oily, you'll relate to this. We don't want to feel like we're wearing anything on our skin. We want lightweight. These deliver that, but they also hydrate you to the gods, which I love. In terms of the face theory one, it also has some niacinamide in here, which could balance out the oil levels in the skin. It's got some vitamin C, it's got some nice botanical extracts. It's just a really, really nice all-in-one kind of product. The V Green, I'd say, is slightly creamier, whereas this is a gel-based formulation, but again, disappears without a trace, at least behind that gorgeous, gorgeous hydration. Either of these could be game-changing for you if you suffer with oily skin and you're looking for that perfect pairing when it comes to a moisturizer. And I'm happy to award these jointly for the best moisturizer for oily skin. Now let's move on to the combination skinned folk out there. Honestly, I sympathize with you guys because it can be one of the hardest skin types to actually match to a moisturizer. That's because a lot of brands either formulate with oily skin in mind, lightweight, minimum hydration, or they go to hydration occlusivity overload designed for the really dry skinned among us. If you sit between the two, it can be really, really difficult to find the right one for you. However, don't worry. I found two this year that honestly, I think are game changing for combination skin. First and foremost, I want to call out this. This is the Crave Beauty Oat So Simple Water Cream. I love this. This is actually the new Crave Beauty packaging. If anyone thinks this looks different to what I've bought before, they've actually updated all of their packaging to make it easy to recycle, which I'm all about. And actually, I think aesthetically, it's much more pleasing than their original packaging. The same, same product applies, but this, honestly, so good if you have combination skin. It's very simplistic in case in terms of what it actually delivers. You know, you get a nice mid-level of hydration for it, which is a tick in the box. It won't break you out. So on those areas where you have a little excess oil, it won't exacerbate that or cause any blackheads or whiteheads. And it's got some O extract in here to calm and soothe the skin. If you've got a few breakouts going on, this again will reduce the size of the pimples and the redness associated with it, or it has at least in my experience. I really like this. It's not the cheapest on the market. I'm gonna caveat that 
But honestly, I think sometimes a little goes such a long way, it kind of evens out in terms of that price point. It comes with a spatula for those of you that like a spatula in your products. I always lose them. I just like to dip my fingers in and all that. But if you're one of these people that likes a spatula to take out tub-based products, you'll absolutely love this. Honestly, for combination skin, this could be our new moisturizing best friend. I also want to call out this, which is the Revectin Clean Lotus Water Cream. This divine. I even say this will probably work for oily, acne-prone skin as well because it's so lightweight. But the level of hydration it leaves behind is slightly higher than what you got with the Face Theory or the V-Green products I called out for oily skin. This, absolutely stunning. And when it goes on the skin, it leaves behind that velvet feel, but it doesn't leave a really thick film or anything to weigh the skin down. Absolutely beautiful. It's fragrance free, which a lot of people look for, particularly if you have sensitive skin. In fact, I'd say all the moisturizers that I'm calling out in today's video are applicable for people with skin sensitivity, but I would definitely say make sure you patch test first and do all of that good stuff just to make sure it's compatible. It doesn't have that gluey, slightly off-putting scent that some unfragranced moisturizers can. And look, after 20 seconds on the skin, there's no tackiness, but you can definitely, definitely feel the hydration. Either this or the Crave Beauty one will be a stunning addition to your skincare routine if you have combination skin. Now, I've saved the best till last because you know what? I think the people that benefit most from a moisturizer are people with a very dry skin type. Maybe I should have, you know, led with this category, but hopefully the timestamps below make sure you can navigate your way to it if you are really wanting that intense, occlusive, ultimate hydration in a product. And there's two that I'm going to jointly award in this category. First up is the Ultraist Moisturizing Fluid, and second is the Dr. Sam's Flawless Moisturizer. Now, when it comes to dry skin, I am going to caveat this by saying it's very situational. Different products will add different levels of hydration to different people. You know, all our skin is unique. It's what makes us fabulous as individuals. So you do need to bear that in mind. And I'd say, why not shout about your favorite dry skin moisturizers in the comment section below if I fail to include any of your favorites. These two though I think take the hydration levels into the stratosphere and are absolutely fantastic if you're craving that additional hydration from your product. First and foremost the Ultraist. This I love because it also contains urea. Now a lot of people that have dry skin also find they have a roughness, a texture to the skin that's associated with that. That can be super frustrating because no matter what moisturizer you put on the skin you can't get rid of that roughness and that feel. Don't worry, urea is your best, best friend. It's a skin softener as an ingredient, so it'll soften the proteins in the skin. It also is a light exfoliator. So that roughness will be diminished over a period of about a week to two weeks of using this product, which is just an added additional benefit. You've also got shea butter in here. You've got hyaluronic acid, which is a fantastic humectant. You've got so many great hydrating and nourishing ingredients. I absolutely love this because it's also formulated with some sensitivity minimizing ingredients. So if you say that your dry skin is carried characterized by a roughness, a flaking to the skin, and some sensitivity, some soreness, this could be your absolute best friend. When it goes onto the skin, it's really quite unique amongst those dry skin treatments because it disappears really quickly. It definitely leaves behind a film and that sense of a real nourishment to the skin, but it's not heavy at all. It's not too occlusive. It goes on really lightweight and feels beautiful. You can use foundation and concealer on top of this without it breaking apart with any of the grease that's sometimes you can get with very, very rich and hydrating moisturizers. And all told, I think this is an absolutely game-changing discovery in 2021. I want to definitely check out if you have a dry skin type. The Dr. Sam's Flawless Moisturizer is very similar in terms of its texture. It's a slightly thicker, heavier cream, and it leaves behind a more noticeable layer. That's fantastic if you have very dry skin, because that layer just locks everything in, prevents trans-epidermal water loss. You don't have the urea in here like you do in the other um, product, but you do have shea butter. You have a little light niacinamide in here to brighten the complexion. And all told, it's a beautiful, beautiful formulation. Dr. Sam actually came out with this, which is the Flawless Revival Mask this year. And whilst I say the two are very similar in formulation. The Revival Mask is just another level increase in moisture. So what I'd say is if you have very dry skin and you find that the Dr. Sam Flawless Moisturizer isn't quite cutting it for you, maybe go up to the Flawless Revival Mask. This is designed as a sleeping mask that you use overnight to wake up with your best skin day. However, I'd say even on a morning, you could put a light layer of this on and it's just like a game-changing level of hydration. One of my absolute favorites, whether you choose to use it on an evening to prep the skin for the morning or you use 
use as your go-to moisturizer. There's that flexibility there, and it's definitely a stunning, stunning product. So there you have it, guys, a rundown of the best moisturizers 2021. We've got an award for each category and each price point. So hopefully this is just giving you some food for thought for the best moisturizers by skin type. I would love to know your own personal recommendations because I couldn't possibly have recommended everything in today's video that I've loved. So sign up in the comment section below if I've missed out your favorite. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.